up guys? Today we're gonna be making a really cool squid game custom. I'll be going over how to fade and shade things, so let the games begin. The first thing that I would highly recommend since we're working on canvas is to add two coats of flat white before anything. This will give the surface a screen print like texture and it'll be a lot easier to sketch and paint on. Round two, let's start sketching. The pencil marks will show up a lot darker after the white coats, so it's super easy to lay your design down after that. Feel free to erase and start over as as much as needed. The sketch came out pretty good so let's move on to creating our blue sky background and to do that I just mixed up three pale blue colors that go from light to dark. The playground room is such an iconic room in the show and I think what makes it so creepy is the kid-like elements. So for our sky we're gonna need to create that crayon look as if someone scribbled it in. So first let's build up coats of our lightest blue for the sky and then we're gonna take a slightly darker shade of this color and kind of do a scribble motion to add some depth to the background. Then we're gonna outline the cloud shapes with our darkest blue color and create the crayon look by literally scribbling in some paint. For a paintbrush, this actually looks like the real deal. And now it's time to paint in the guards. Am I the only one that thinks their uniforms are super cool? I would like to extend a heartfelt Welcome to you all. So here's where we get into the shading. My number one tip for this is to create three or four different colors using the same base color. So for example, I mixed up one base of red and made a darker tone of it by adding gray and then a lighter tone of it by adding white. These highlights and shadows will blend really nice together since they're all made of the same base. You're gonna wanna start by color blocking in all the red areas with the original base color. All the shading will come after this. Once the area is fully saturated, it's time to add some shadows by taking our darkest red and just filling in areas where shadows would go. This is usually the sides of the body or underneath flaps of clothing and such. You can always reference from a shaded image as well if you need help placing them around. And then once your shadows are dialed in, you can start adding your highlight, which is your lightest red color. This usually goes around shadows, which helps add texture and depth. Keep in mind, again, all these colors blend really nice with each other since they're all made from the same base coat. And to finish off the shadows with a bang, I usually take some of the base coat and mix in some black for a super dark shadow that will give this really cool foreground illusion. Let's finish these guys off by adding in some black, and then I'll go in later and add some gray shadows. For the next shoe, we're gonna follow these same techniques to create the iconic candy illustration. Step one, fill in the shape with your base color, add shadows using your darker color, and then add highlights to create texture. Lastly, I'm just dialing some fun colors in here for the shapes, then adding color to the sanded area. And that's it. Congratulations, you survived the game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. You should celebrate. That was quite the game there.